Hey there, folks. I'd like to talk to you about an interesting phenomenon that takes place in the eastern U.S. about every 17 years and is concentrated most heavily in Indiana and Maryland. And it's going on right now. The Brood X Cicada Swarm. They're a mutant variety of cicadas. They lay eggs in the ground and they incubate for 17 years, as the name would suggest, and then they emerge. And there's probably more to it than that. I'm probably describing it wrong. But the point is, look at these bugs! Would you look at these bugs? They got little red eyes and they fly and they buzz. These things are really loud. They're deafening when you pass near like a bunch of them. They're just flittering all over the place like like little freaky birds. They're not terribly smart as far as bugs go. In terms of their intelligence, they strike me as a little bit dumber than a cockroach, uh, but they are much bigger. One of them flew into my neck a few minutes ago. That was kind of unpleasant. 2021. <laughs> oh, why couldn't this happen last year when I was just inside all day? I was in high school the last time these things came out. I was walking to and from school. And when I say I was in high school, uh, I meant that I was taking summer classes because I was a bad student that didn't like to do homework, and so I wound up with summer classes. And I wound up having to walk to and from school through swarms of um, flying cicadas. So I figured this was probably the appropriate measure to take. I was bringing it just in case it rained. It won't. It just rained yesterday. But... Enough of these things have flown close me, or into me, on this short walk to work, that uh, uh, I'm, I'm putting on shields. Cause fuck this. Do your homework, kids. That way you don't get attacked by evil biblical surges of bugs. Now because I've been spending a lot of time indoors this year, I haven't encountered these cicadas as much as I did 17 years ago. And despite the fact that I work outside, I haven't encountered too many of these things either. But I suspect that the reason for that is because there's been a lot of new developments in the area. So a lot of ground has been overturned. So a lot of the incubating cicadas in the areas that I frequent uh, have been, you know, killed years ago. When you think about the wildlife that you see in like a suburban area like this, you think like, oh, birds, squirrels, uh, you know, raccoons, stuff like that. And as far as insect life goes, you don't really notice much. Uh, the, the blinders go on. So the reason that the, the change in how, uh, in how it's affected the uh, brood X cicadas uh, can be seen is because they are such a huge, unmissable event. If you live in the area long enough, there's no way you can't take note of it happening. The sheer density of the population that comes out just ends up, it ends up affecting uh, the entire area. Your walks become really unpleasant unless you really like getting hit with cicadas, but you know, that's, that's just a personal gripe of mine. I'm not about to write Brood X Cicadas a bad Yelp review, but they live here. They live here, and uh, and our activity is is uh, clearly affecting their ability to continue living here. You know, I don't like the damn things, but it's it's actually a little bit sad. It's it's actually a little bit sad to see them uh, to see them uh, completely pushed out of certain areas. Granted, the areas that they're pushed out of are also the areas that I am enjoying my walk right now in. But, uh, it's, it's not usually so clear to me. And it's only because you can't help but notice the cicada swarms. Makes you wonder what impact we're having on the creatures that we don't pay attention to at all. When the ones that you absolutely can't ignore are being very clearly affected. Message. That said... I still do encounter mad amounts of them going to and from. 
most of the cicadas that I've encountered are dead. Uh, although here is a live one. Uh, this one was uh, sort of flipped over on its back, baking in the hot sun. So I you know, flipped it over and it started walking on its merry way. It's probably dead by now. Anyway, uh, I haven't encountered too many of these things alive, oddly enough. As I said, most of them are dead. I did have one fly into my goddamn eye a few days ago. That was rather unpleasant. What's the point of this video? Oh yeah, bugs. Patreon shout out. Andy Felicotti. Kevin Doherty. Sean Lamb. John Walden. We are grateful for your generosity. Oh my god, I can talk.